Going back to mid wicket. Brunt. Big appeal. Big appeal. Gone. Big wicket. Perry can't believe it. Not score runs as Healy goes large. She hasn't got all of this. Running back. Lovely catch over her head. And that's Nicole Bolton. Well, it's probably the first wide ball of the afternoon. And he gets a lovely cut shot past the diving point. Runs definitely one that's capable of it. She does so and she is dispatched. That is six, the first of the afternoon. This one a much better line. Cut past point, that's four runs. Yep, and Dani Vanderkirk at five. She cuts this one again through the gap, racing out towards the boundary, and four more. So th you said set them up for the rest of the year. They did as McGlashan hooks that beautifully behind square for four runs. Could be the shot that gets her going. Giving them a show at the moment. She's on 21. Bates again. And straight. And four more. What did you should get there as Gardner's back on strike. Swings hard at this one. Crunches it down to long off for four more. It's been a really good comeback. Sydney6s.com.au. Yeah. There's plenty of websites where you can get him. No excuse. Big appeal here from King. Yeah, it looked like a leading edge there. But Brunt now to McGlashan who pulls that hard over mid-wicket. One bounce, two bounces and four runs. It's a glorious day in Sydney. We're here for some good cricket. That one edged for four. The dog spinner. In the air, through the infield, four runs. Sure of what she wants to do with ball here. Big appeal, going straight through the lot. What a comeback by Hartshorn. She's been hit for 11 runs already in this over. Yep. In again, and this is a chance. Big chance. Parked underneath it, and it's put down. This is a big fight back with the early losses of Perry and Healy. And there's the second six of the afternoon. Oh, Ooh. straight through. Off stump. Hit. Gone. Van Nieker for 11. And it's McGlashan's back on strike. Oh. oh, what a shot. She's played that past off stump. Four runs. Back on the bench, fence now. Gone! Bait strikes the skipper for the Scorchers. Gets an important wicket there. The fifth of the afternoon. Mid wicket at the moment. No one straight back past the bowler. It'll be four runs. Yes, it will. It's a quick outfield here at Hurstville. And the Greeks work for it. She oh. does just that, and there's a big appeal for LBW, and she's given. So Shrubsole with another breakthrough, and Ange Reek's gone for 10. The sixes have lost their six. Try and play this over square leg, who's in the circle. He's down on one knee, all right, and this one's going out towards mid-wicket for four. Great shot by Marizan Cap. Square leg here, that's for sure. Bates would have been aiming for the toes. She falls a little bit short. This one across the rope. But... Make it. Oh, just. They're going to come back for two. That was a terrific diving chance in the deep. Just And the Sydney Sixers have posted 132 from their 20 overs. Scored 10 days in Sydney. There's been plenty of showers in parts. A catch. A great catch. That's the skipper. She couldn't score with the bat, but she picks up a sharp catch at Gully. As Perry now replaces Ailey. And an appeal for LBW against Paparo. Not out the call. So not terribly difficult, but it just starts getting a little bit harder. And this one will be four runs. So runs to be had if Bates can get onto one. This is a diving catch. Put down. Shorten at this end. It is at the offside. Bates goes the aerial. Right oh. on. Nearly a screamer. Chance of the bowler's end. Oh, geez, almost a two. No doubt about that. That would have been a screamer as Bates now pulls that one hard out towards square leg. Reeks can't do anything about that. So a little bit too short there from Van der Kirk. And cross your screen from right to left. It's now Paparo's chance. And that is an easier stumping as Alyssa Healy will get in her career. Paparo went up the pitch, missed. 
front this time. Gets it past McGlash and an extra cover, and this one races away for four. That's the boundary they needed. Bit of a half volley in the end, and she banged it for four. Great stuff. Bates on strike. And hits it hard through the offside. That's going to be four runs. Just split the gap there between the two cover fielders. That's a good shot from the New Zealand and Scorch's captain. They're ready to come out and will certainly make things interesting as this is a big heave over mid-wicket. Over cover, I should say, and that is four runs. The fifth boundary. So Smith just working on that angle, though. She steps across oh, this side and hits it for six. That's a huge shot from Catherine Brunt. That's the biggest six of the afternoon. It was brave from Smith. Bellani was dismissed in the third over. And speaking of dismissals, there's a big one. Brunt gone. Smith picks up her second. A great four overs. Operating to Bolton. And she's straight away on the slog. Finds the gap on the onside and four runs for the total. Bates gets a big top edge. That'll be four runs. Doesn't matter how you get them. Just target the stumps, Pez. Which skipper will come out on top? Ah, oh. oh, drop opportunity. Ball 50 as she faces the Sixers skipper. This one is just over the infield. She'll pick up one. She'll pick up four. She does. And the Scorchers skipper. Only a small band of supporters here for the Scorchers. <laughs> but I swept both of them. And she's down, playing that shot again. There's a fielder out there. And this is caught. This time she's gone. Vanderkirk takes a good catch, and Ailey gets the big breakthrough. Nicole Bolton. She's got to take down Ailey now. And she hits that hard out on the offside, and it's caught again. Sarah Ailey's on a hat trick. Susie Bates' brilliant innings comes to an end. A great catch by Perry. And the Sixers coming up trumps when it counts. Rocks up to the SCG, and can they rock up? Leaders They're pushing the women's very hard big bash. They're going to come back on the for arm it. Perry. Oh, oh, God! Direct hit from the deep. That's terrific stuff. Five to go. 24 needed. This has got to go over the fence. And it does. It has been a fantastic effort. As they scamper through from a leg by to end their innings on 120. And the Sixers run away. Victors by 12 runs here at Hurstville Oval. The Sixers... Go top of the table in the WBBL, the second series that's brought to you by Rebel Sport. A great victory, the first of the doubleheader.